Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Pop Comes Cracking. It's D-Boss Reacts to this vet. It's titled, Inside the Ohio Town Invaded by Cat-Eating Haitians. So when I reacted to the, the, the debate video yesterday, people were telling me, nah, Trump is telling the truth. You need to react to this vid. <laughs> people are eating the cats. They're eating the dogs in Ohio. I'm like, what, what, what? So we're about to see what's happening. And why they out here eating people pets? Let's watch. There was Haitians in a white van driving around the neighborhoods, collecting <laughs> hey. cats, skinning them, and eating them. In my opinion, they're worthless. A bunch of worthless insects. They're getting thousands of dollars in government time. assistance. Even the cash assistance cards. They're calling them the magic money cards because they never run out. Uh, man, they're nothing but a headache. All they're doing is raising our rent and our taxes and, and wrecking vehicles. Everybody wants to make this into a race they issue. Have... It's not a race issue. It's, it's culture. It's accountability and it's respect. Since June, they took me off of my vet. They took me off of the disability. You're a veteran and you're competing with some of the resources they're getting and just came in here? Yeah. I need some solutions. I'm losing my mind. This is Springfield, Ohio. What was once a small town in Ohio home to roughly 60,000 working class Americans until 20,000 plus Haitian immigrants flooded into town with rumors of them eating the neighbor's cats and local yeah, geese. There. What did you do? Why'd you kill the cat? Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? Oh, I thought y'all was cooking them at least on the grill. They're eating the dogs. The people eating that came in. Live? They're eating the cats. They're eating they're eating the pets. And causing car accidents left and right, and driving locals out of their homes by paying above market rental prices with welfare subsidized by the American taxpayer. Are these Haitians eating cats? How did they travel 2,000 plus miles from Haiti all the way to Ohio? And do the locals and their new Haitian neighbors get along? I pulled up to Springfield myself to see if this was real or overblown fake news. A lot of this is alleged because I truly don't know what's going on and neither does Twitter. Twitter is relying off of a few images and a few Reddit threads, and there are rumors that Haitians are taking neighbors' cats and eating them. Um, are you from Haiti by chance? Yeah. Does everyone get along here in Springfield? Yes. Good? Good. Motherfuckers yeah. are worthless. Bunch of worthless insects. Yeah. When did the Haitian neighbors come and move here? I'm gonna say probably five months ago. Okay. I spoke to a few of them in French. They're everywhere. They're up there. Don't wait to me, you sorry sandwich. I tell them like it is, fuck, man. I don't like them. I don't like them, and I, I, I want, I want them to know I don't yeah, like them. Pack up and move back to Haitiville, where the fuck you're from. That's Why not what a sand. Nous 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 sommes ici pour venir travailler. Nous cherchons la vie meilleure, mais c'est haïtien. Okay. Okay. Um, do you plan on living here from- That really sucks because it gives them all a bad rep and obviously they all not eating cats, obviously. So it's fucked up because they're just trying to escape their previous terrible living situation and look at how they're being treated much longer yeah yeah i heard there were rumors of haitians eating the neighbor's cats and a canadian goose is that true or completely false no 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 okay okay Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, what the fuck you okay. Uh, we've lost a whole bunch yeah, of like cats. Chicken, not cats. Uh, there was a man loaded a uh, van pulled over that had over a hundred cats in it with the Haitians that said they was eating them. Actually? Yeah. Not fake news. Not fake news. So a van was watched, collecting cats and I eating them. I watched it happen, yeah. I watched them get pulled over with the cats and admit to the police that they mm -hmm. was eating them. You're not joshing with me. No, I'm almost 50 years old, buddy. I don't know. You don't mess around. Where is the proof? Twitter is saying the Haitians are eating cats and can't drive. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> they can't drive. True or no? No. No, okay. I believe it. Like, I've heard of rumors about them taking the geese and killing them and eating them, so I try to stay clear away because they i've even heard about them eating the eggs over there so i'm like okay that's kind of disturbing thing on there he is this is your guy right here uh yes okay. so far so Bitch, you better hide your cat issues, but get him in the house work. and are they chill they get chomped on all right i guess i don't pay no mind to them you know and they're every fucking they take our fucking apartments that the landlords make the people move out so they can rent to the haitians to get more money you know it's bullshit you know you go to the grocery store there's no fucking groceries you know they give them three thousand dollars a month plus food stamps i'm an american yeah just like you yeah and these motherfuckers come from Haitianville, wherever they're from, and they get everything. They get their, they get medical care paid, everything. You know, it's it's bull. Where do they get the money? The government. Okay. They said it's a fucking uh, program for them to uh, for like migrants, like asylum seekers. Yeah. Asylum, yeah. Okay. I mean, they're, they're 
like roaches, man. Yeah, I get a little. He's little the little epitome of like a redneck. They're crazy machetes <laughs> when they're out mowing their grass with it. They brought out mach machetes. Oh yeah, they. Yeah. That's how they trim their yard. They. Actually. Yeah. It surprised me they let them all in, but I think that if they're going to come in, they should be legal and not illegal. And I don't see why they're giving them all this money and everything like that when our people are the ones suffering for all this for them coming in. I'm getting ready to be homeless. They're getting ready to sell my house because of the Haitians. You think the Haitians won't move in? The yeah, they're coming Wednesday to look at it. Actually? Yeah. And when they buy this house, we'll both be out here on the streets. We ain't got nowhere to go. We won't fix the income. Are Haitians paying? rent? Are they paying their bills? Are they being paid to live here? They're being paid to live here. I don't see why they'd have to pay rent if they're being paid to be, be here. Who's paying them? The government. And that's that's our biggest issue too is they're taking our schools over and they're running the Americans out of our own countries it feels like. This this country has gone to hell. Twelve motherfuckers live here and there's another seven or eight lives right here in this corner house and, door, yeah. and four of them just moved in here. They ain't in there. Do you think you'll sell the house to a Haitian family one day? Hell no. I wouldn't give them motherfuckers a sweat off my balls if they died of thirst. <laughs> I'm, I'm f***ing for real, man. I, I, am, I am f***ing sick of them. <laughs> you know, I don't give a f***ing they put a in every... I you know, never I'll heard that before. Uh, Twitter is saying that... Haitians are kidnapping the neighbor's cats and eating them. This is starting to feel like racist propaganda. <laughs> the more the video goes on. Now now I'm questioning if anybody's eating cats. Now now I, I need I need to get some context from that clip they showed of that woman when they blurred something out. I, I, I need more context now because now <laughs> this is getting real sus. Is that true or false? I, I gotta ask the hard questions here. No, 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 no. Okay. Why is everyone coming here? I see you here to work, to eat meat. Because we don't eat meat. No, we don't eat meat. Si nous besoin de viande, manger viande, on aller dans Walmart, on acheter, mais manger chat, ici, on ne pas manger chat. Il s'est dit qu'on allait à Walmart. Pourquoi vous êtes parti de Haïti? Moi, j'ai quitté Haïti parce que dans mon pays, j'ai eu des petits gens qui ont des problèmes politiques. C'est un problème terrible. Deux autres gars passés, nous sommes juste essayés de quitter jusqu'à ce que ça a arrangé pour me retourner dans le pays. Barbecue? Civil War? Je ne sais pas qu'il y a un de monde seulement qui a un problème pour essayer de déplacer. Mais je ne sais pas qu'il y a un nom de la personne qui a fait ça. Ok. Ok, donc juste des amis et des amis ont dit qu'ils venaient ici à Springfield? Pouvez-vous lui demander ça? Oui, c'est des amis. Je vois. Ok, merci. Ok. Je ne sais pas si tu as des cats. Ok, elle a dit que je ne veux pas des cats. Vous voyez ce que l'autre scan est là? Là-bas, oui. Ok, oui. Ok, every Haitian house you go around, it's honestly filled to the brim. There's trash that leaks out onto the corner right. everywhere, but we're expected to live clean environment. Sure. And then on top of that, with the rise of immigrants and they get assisted living freely, it makes it harder for people like me or somebody else who doesn't get assisted living to find affordable housing. Are they driving the housing costs up around here? Yeah. yeah. Like no Big time? Yeah, like... What are we talking? Okay. Um... Honestly, in my opinion, it'll be surprised if I don't get kicked out so they can boost up the rate on this place. They'll probably fix it, I see. get it where it's looking better, and boost the rate up on it. Grandma can get a month. How much money does the government give you per month? Pero el first time, me doy como um, primera vez te pusieron como 500, eh, segunda 300. Okay. ¿Cuántos Haitians uh, vive aquí en. Uh, las dos años. No tengo un mensual, pero yo nuevo por ahí. Okay. ¿De dónde eres? Eh, en Haití. ¿Haití? Sí. ¿Cuántos mm -hmm. meses vive aquí? Tengo dos meses. Dos. Sí. Did anyone tell you to come Spanish here to Springfield, Ohio? Sí. Did a friend tell you to come move here for a job? How did you learn about Springfield? Yo tengo mi padres por ahí. Okay. How much is... How much is it to rent an apartment here in Springfield. How much do you pay for rent? Pero todavía yo no pagué, pero yo vivo con mi padre, eh, mensual cada mes, 700. Is anyone eating cats out here? No. Okay, also, 
Farsa. Farsa in Barmacion, okay. But do you know many other Haitians here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, big community? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And why are so many Haitians coming here to Springfield in particular? Okay. Um, thank you. Also, if you want to support our boots on the ground, independent journalism that is not bought and paid for by corporate interests, along with uns oh, censored Not early bad. access to all my videos before okay. they go up on YouTube, okay. and exclusive DLC content that YouTube yeah, won't let me far. upload. Go subscribe at patreon.com slash Tyler Oliveira for less than five bucks a month. How long have you lived here? This one. How much money does the government give you per month? Ah, is it true that the Haitians are eating the neighbor's cats? Oh, no. They all say no, bro. Information false. Okay. Uh, do they not collect the trash? To Chaclins. You are my sepater. Okay. Why did you leave Haiti? No, I'm not going to leave but I'm going to leave Haiti. I'm going to leave Haiti. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. You got a cat right there? Unaffected? Merci. He's chill. Unaffected. Not eating. It's ridiculous. They yeah, can't even mind. take care of the American citizens before they're bringing in waves and waves of immigrants. And then look at it. There's so many people, veterans, um, mostly white people yeah. that are homeless, living on the streets, has nothing to eat. But these people have brand new houses, brand new cars. I'm having a oh, hell of a cool. time finding a job because they want the Haitian. They're getting thousands of dollars in government assistance. I worked retail before I lost my job back in April. It sounds when like they're all regurgitating like the same exact, <laughs> like the same exact phrases. Like, it's not even just the same talking points. It's just, like, they are all talking about the same shit, so they're just repeating, like, what they heard. Transactions, I can like, see what, new cards what comes are they getting? certain cards. I'm not trying to be nosy. Why I don't want to know what you get. <laughs> but when a Haitian comes through and spends $500 in food stamps and still has five grand on their food assistance card. Five grand? Five grand. Would you like to know what the Haitians five are calling grand. the food assistance cards? Tell even, me. Even the cash assistance cards. They're calling them the magic money cards because they never run out. I'm homeless. I'm jobless. I'm sleeping on friends' couches because I can't get government assistance because I come from the wrong country. Apparently, you all get along out here, or what? We don't socialize with that much. I mean, they walk up and down the street, they do their normal thing. I thought they That's had it. a car. Yeah. 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 How long you live, you live down here in Springfield? Oh, I've lived in Springfield all my life. I'll okay. be 60 in two weeks. When did all the Haitians come in? About five years ago, maybe. Yeah. And when they packed, five they years, hit five months. The other said five months. I'll read your sprint. They went through, they painted them, cleaned them up a little bit, rent them to them, and they pay their rent. I heard on Twitter that cats are getting kidnapped. Is that that's yes. true? Yes, my mom You're actually. Seen, my mom actually seen a post on Facebook. There was Haitians in a white van driving around the neighborhoods. Collecting cats, skinning them, and eating them. Snyder Park, our actual park, if a Haitian is caught walking the grounds down there, they can get arrested because they're going down there and they're killing the Canadian geese so they can take them home and eat them. I wouldn't be surprised because we used to have I a thought lot they of cats get $5,000 right in food stamps, though. This ain't adding up. <laughs> This is not adding up. The math ain't mathing. I just, I need some more information from someone who is a bit smarter. Because what are y'all even talking about? Y'all facts is not, it's not lining up. Down here at the end of the street, that lady had probably 50 of them. Now she's like the have five. And uh, the geese got the park. They're declining. So I don't know if they're eating them too. I guess it's supposed to be their natural habitat or something or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you think this could come to another American town near you? This could come everywhere, man. Yeah, it's the future of America? I hate to say it, but probably so. The Mexicans take it up for the blacks. Oh, the blacks take it up for the Mexicans is up. Interesting. My country is going down. And I can't wait till Trump gets back in there. 90% of the auto accident. He's not helping y'all broke ass. <laughs> It's so funny because I feel like a lot of people, a lot of poor people, poor white people specifically, are so pro-Trump. And I don't think they understand what, and I'm not even heavy into politics, and I even understand he's not really looking out for the dirt poor. Like, y'all are not going to benefit. <laughs> but okay.
are Haitian involved. Okay. And I've almost gotten hit by several of them walking because I walk a lot and they're going the wrong Dude. way down the right. streets. Like, and they think they own the streets. And when they got chased out, he hit the curb. <laughs> when they got chased out, she heard one of them say it and it was actually in English. Look at them just blast it off. <laughs> they've, they've knocked down my my grandmother's fence. Yeah. That brick wall back there, they've grown yeah. into it. I, uh, they've hit parties around here. I mean, they cannot drive. Whoever's giving them driver's license ought to have theirs taken on. But look, every time some a country moves into another country talking about we're taking over, that shit leads to war. 100%. Like, when you have the old black dudes siding with the old white redneck and they're talking about joining teams that's when you know everything is going to go downhill and it's going to go downhill quick. Real. we all know about about the uh about the neo-nazis just a couple weeks ago being down down and uh, i ain't saying that it's right and i ain't saying it's wrong but look let's think about it i'm 36 years old and in 36 oh, okay. years that's, that's the first time i've ever seen the neo-nazis rally in our in our city my, my mom was telling me she was coming home the other night and seeing a carload Clan members. Oh, oh, yeah. Clan members. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, there's full on war going down right now. That's what it's coming to. Okay. And yeah. it's all going to be against the same people. Yo quiero hablar contigo sobre um, migración de muchas uh, Haitians a Springfield. Si ¿Sí posible? Si. Sí, no. ¿De dónde eres? Haiti. Haiti. Ok. ¿Cuántos meses vive aquí? Mm, un mes. ¿Qué es la razón uh, que vive aquí? No, yo no vivo acá, por acá. Yo tengo sobrino que vive ahí. Yo me voy a visitar. Ah, ¿Visitar? ¿Cuántos dólares tú recibes uh, cada mes del gobierno? No, todavía, porque yo tengo el proceso, pero no me manda todavía. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Nada? Nada. ¿Cómo es posible que vive en las casas? con nada de dinero. Si ellos no me visiten, voy a poner una... Aquí ellos no saben nada. Yo vengo a visitar a una persona. Ah, Yo no vivo para acá. Ok, ¿por qué tú manejas el coche con mucho rápido? No fui yo, si estaba manejando. <risa> Mucho rápido, en, en esa street. Yes. No, estaba manejando en mi primo. Ah, ok. ¿Es, sí, es cierto bacán. que personas comen los gatos o no? No sé. No, ok, lo siento. Uh, gracias por yo tu no tiempo. Sé. I'm trying to interview locals out here and hear their thoughts about the Haitians that have moved in. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I might, I... I lived here for 24 years. Yeah. I lived in LA for 38 years. Got it. Um, it is causing probably some problems. Uh, I personally noticed it because it took me months on end to find an apartment to live in. Sure. The available housing supply has gone down and the prices have gone up or what? Uh, I'm not 100% sure about the prices going up. I mean, I hear rumors that there's landlords ripping off some of the sure. Haitian people, you know, like trying to put multiple families in a house and charging them too much money. I don't know if that's true. I just stuff Exactly. Heard, Thank yeah, you for being honest, my brother. The market that because, you don't really you know. know. Like I, said, I couldn't even get anybody to call me back for months. Couldn't they? I haven't that's had any true. problems with anybody. I can tell you that. Again, no cat eating. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Okay. What's your name? Pavon. I can Pavon. Oh, you own this? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a great person to talk to. Yeah, then. for sure. We've heard a lot of uh, the Haitians that have moved here recently come here often. Yeah. What's wow. going on here in Springfield? Uh, there's just like an influx of the population in the Haitian community. I mean, they're a protected status here. Mm -hmm. So they're right. just like, I mean, obviously I've filled up the town with it. And yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay. So much. you own this laundromat? Yeah, so my dad owns this laundromat. I own the sneaker store next to it. So I run both things right now. Okay. So, yeah. Are your customers primarily Haitian? What's the uh, split? Uh, before, I would say the last like two, three years, I mean, primarily whoever was in town, okay. but yeah, there's a huge influx in, yeah, the Haitian community that's like primarily our like customers like nowadays. So yeah, I will say there's 100% yeah. of divide in our town. Thing is like, I just hope that whatever you guys do cover, something good comes out of it, right? Like in the next five to six years, hopefully there's some sort of unity between everybody. Hopefully there's some sort of change. That's the biggest thing. Like, I feel like you guys should cover yeah. just some sort of like way to bring people together. This is the guy you want to talk to. How you doing, man? We're you filming a guy? YouTube video. We're, we're trying to see what's going on here. This is the guy. Big Wait, guy you running for mayor? Okay, I'm trying to find you. I know, I know who you are. So out of pure luck, I met up with Anthony Harris, the guy who went viral for giving this speech at Springfield's town hall. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're slipping cars in the middle of the street. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them like and who's been going live on Facebook. If y'all saying this happen, okay, I was about to say, where is the video proof? But yeah, show me. Think car crashes from the new Haitian drivers. We headed to the I BMP see the cat to see how the Haitians are getting driver's licenses and cars so quickly after moving here, despite speaking zero English. Question for y'all. What are your thoughts on the Haitians? 
Fuck them. They can't drive? This guy right here, my Haitian dude. Yo, yo, bonjour. We got a cat right beside him. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop, bro. Stop, dude. Stop. You said that shit, not me. You take that back. I didn't shit. Yeah, I tell you this, man. Come on, come on, bro. You feel like, we like, you be playing, bro. There's nothing wrong with some dope. Let's go see what's up. How y'all doing? Question for you. Do you know how the Haitians are getting driver's license? Can they transfer their license from Haiti or? No, they no. Do they have to undergo the same test? Um, I'm not allowed to ask you a person which comes out of the international driver's You know what they have to do? That's what I have to do. I do not. I, I really don't girl. know. No, but I know they get them quick. They get them quick, right? I have to ask. Yeah, yeah. Sir, you are not allowed to take pictures in here. Sir, sir. In the, uh, oh, oh go on, sir. Sir. Are they able to transfer their licenses from Haiti to here? No, not without taking tests. But the okay. only question I can answer, I can't answer anything else. Do you know how the Haitians are getting their driver's license so fast? Google it. Uh, okay. All right, that's all I got for you. I uh, Are they driving pretty good out here or what? No. No? I do not they put their car in. Why is that, do you think? I don't know how to drive in general. Okay. Like, they're, like I see them driving over there, like, trying, like, trying to learn how to drive, but... I don't know, think they have to drive at all. Okay. We all don't think they should have a license. No lights when they be driving around, and nothing. You think it poses a threat to public safety? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, managing nothing but a headache. All they're doing is raising our rent and our taxes and-, and, and eating our cats. And there's just been nothing but a hassle since they've been here. It's been horrible. How would you rank their driving from one, one to 10? Uh, one. negative 10, they're horrible. Do you have to take a driving test here? We? Oui? Ah, I spent it. See, como es posible que recibir tu licencio muy rápido? I did not know there were so many Spanish speaking Haitians. No, es que por ahora no sé. Es que lo que lo que necesito viene acá para preguntar por la información. Okay. Okay. All right. Gracias. Oh, with more confusion gained than answers explaining how these Haitians are passing their driver's tests. I headed down to the Springfield Welfare Center where Haitians are apparently clogging the lines for locals, exhausting the town's resources, and overwhelming the employees. Question, where are you guys from? Haiti? Haiti? Okay. Uh, how many Haitians do you think will come out here in line today? That's what we're trying to... I would say 80% of the people that come out here will be Haitian. Okay. How long have you been here in Springfield? I've been here for seven years now. What takes so long yeah. is because they've got only two lines that they serve people in in there, sometimes three. And on all three of those, they got interpreters for each one, right? Where it'll mm -hmm. go a lot faster if you had one line for for people that like couldn't, you know, speak English that well, yeah. and then have another line for people that can go through the line faster. Because a lot of times, they have paperwork with them and stuff that won't have in order. We tried the uh, split line for a while. Um, it ended up being less efficient for everybody. Yeah. Um, is this about as long as it gets these days? Uh, this is a normal Monday. Yeah, we've had worse. But... France, Francois? English? No. Standing in line 30 minutes, they might only just serve four or five people. Got it. How many people do you think will come here this Monday? This Monday? Yeah. I'm telling you, out of this money, I figure at least they might see five money. What do you think the split is between uh, new Haitians that are coming here and, and uh, Springfield and OGs, if you will? <laughs> um, I don't know too much about all uh, observationally. What have you seen? <laughs> Nine to one, easy. Nine. Like, I'm just here because I'm just trying to get a, a get them to clear a medical car. Are the systems stressed right now in Springfield? Can they handle the amount of people coming in? No, they really can't. I've been trying to get a medical, just a simple Medicaid card since June. They took me off, of, I'm a vet. They took me off of the disability and made me start paying for my disability. And I don't know why they took me off, but so I had to give them proof of income and disabilities and stuff. I gave them all that. They still ain't did. So you're a veteran and you're competing with some of the resources they're getting? And just came in here? Yeah. Every, this America, you dig what I'm saying? But I'm saying that the, the, the things that, the hoops they make us jump through can have you 
turn on each other. Come back home, brother. Say negative things. I don't know. I don't have anything negative to negative like to say it. or bad to say about anybody. I can't pinpoint you know where. I mean? where the town's more taken care of. Uh, the local residents that were here. Given First and foremost. Oh, no. Hell no. Well, thanks for your service. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good luck in line. Like, and the thing is, there's people, on, there's people on Twitter and Instagram that don't think it's real. Like, yeah. don't think none of this shit's real. We just saw it in real time. Like, none of that shit's real that you're saying. There's no way they brought 20,000 people. Uh, English? No. No, no English? Okay. Yeah, That's crazy. Here. You're local, trying to get your Medicaid, your welfare benefits, etc. You're waiting two hours now. Crazy? Crazy as fuck. We're six minutes away from this woman's house. This woman has stated that people are throwing mattresses on her joint. She is not expecting us. I am just gonna show up and knock on her door and see what happens. Hi there. I saw your um, speech at the city council and I was wondering if I could interview. You know, well, I've seen a video of a guy getting a Canadian goose, a Haitian dude, oh, and I have rumors of perfect. Haitians taking cats. Tell me what's going on here. I, I'm cat lady, as okay. you can tell. You have a lot of cats. Yeah, I have a lot of cats. The goose story, I believe, originated in Columbus. I have not seen it okay. here. And just for context, you are surrounded, this entire community, mostly Haitians now? Yeah, I believe we're looking at probably about 50% okay. is what I'm saying. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. My town is going to pot. Everybody wants to make this into a race issue. It's not a race issue. It's, it's culture, and it's accountability, and it's respect. And that's the things that I'm not seeing. And the women in this country have fought long and hard for the rights that they have been afforded. And these men, and this culture treat their women very badly, and I watch it firsthand. Come on, give me a break. Start acting like you got some sense. The driving of the vehicles is a main sticking point. Patient men came down with probably a queen size mattress and threw it in the front yard. Okay. It didn't go very well. I tried to explain. I tried to be nice. Didn't go very well. So and you explained in English? Yes. I had to drop the F bomb and told them, take it and go. So they went down the street and ended up at that house right there. Got it. So. It's, they've thrown trash in the yard as they walk by. I, I'm done. I'm tired of dealing with the disrespect. I've never been so disrespected in my life. And my ex-husband has never disrespected me like this. They're not prosecuting for the property crimes. And it's just, it's a big mess and we need some help. I want my city back. I want my people happy. And this is my town. I want to take it back. Do you think the Haitians here are trying to assimilate to the culture of the town you grew up in? No. I, I, don't, I don't see it. If it is, more power to them. But it, there's a language barrier. I get it. Okay, but when they are paroled here on the I-94, they get eight months of English lessons, the first eight months. Okay. If they're not taking advantage of that, then why should we, the taxpayer, have to turn around and have our services overwhelmed? They're saying 20,000, and I am saying between 35 and 40 with the birth rates and the things that I see going on. So I don't know who's to blame. I don't know whose door to start kicking in. Mike DeWine, if you see this, Mike DeWine, get a hold of me. I really would like to have a word with you. She's and I promise I won't yell at Somebody get okay. a hold of me. I don't care who, get a hold of me. I need some solutions. I'm losing my mind. Mm. Mm. Okay, you're crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> What the hell is happening in in this small town? Uh, listen, I don't know what these people are experiencing. I don't live there. I would fucking never. Uh, but, you know, I do understand some of their talking points. I understand how some of what they're stating could be frustrating for the residents there. But, you know, the fact that some of them are just racist, you could just tell that they're hella racist. It, it distracts from their talking points and it just makes you feel like, all right, are you upset with these things that you're listing off or are you just mad that a bunch of black people is moving into your small town, you know, your white town? <laughs> like, what, is that the problem? You know, so I'm just like, uh, and this whole cat and, and geese eating shit, I, I'm not saying it's not happening at all. You know, it, it could very well take place sometimes, but I think it's very unfair to conclude that, oh, this is just a, a big issue and most of them are doing it and look, it happens all the time. They just get in the van and grab up all the cats. Like, I just feel like that's ignorant. That's ridiculous. And you could just tell when he's talking to some of them and they're laughing, like caught off guard, like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, it didn't, it didn't seem fake at all. It seemed like they were genuinely amused, like eating cats, like my nigga, what? <laughs> we ain't no goddamn cats, you know? So yeah, I think it's unfair to put that on, on all of them or even most of them, you know? Um, but yeah, seems like a crazy situation. Very, very wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.